Ladies and gentlemen, this is Friday Night Jeopardy. Now entering the studio, a career woman from Hamilton, Ontario, now working in Ottawa. Please welcome Sheila Cobbs. Our next contestant is a single mother, a social worker, and a farmer. Please welcome Audrey McLaughlin. Our third contestant recently attended a coronation in Vancouver and has no intention of entering our studio. And now, here's your host for Friday Night Jeopardy, Ralph Ben Murgy. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our show. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, you know, we all know how to play this game, so uh, let's look at tonight's categories, and they are current movies, 60s expressions, political animals, trios, and big, bloated, blustery MPs from Newfoundland. <laughs> All right, let's get right to it. Audrey, you're the incumbent party leader, so you get to go first. Well, um, I'm going to take uh, the 60s expressions for $107, Ralph. All right, Audrey, here we go. <laughs> now remember that the 107 is for the GST, so here we go. <laughs> 60s expressions, Michael Wilson, Perrin Beattie, and Don Mazenkowski did this while watching Kim Campbell on TV. <laughs> Audrey. What is, turn on, Tune in and drop out. Yes. All right. All right, you get to continue here and uh, pick another one. Well, uh, let me see. Uh, I think that I'll try political animals for 107. All right, here we go. Political animals for 107. And the answer is busy, buck-toothed. He stores all his nuts in a cabinet. <laughs> Sheila Cox. Premier Bob Ray. Yes. All right. Okay, Sheila, pick your category. Well, it's a tough choice, but I'll have to go with big, bloated, blustery MPs for Newfoundland. I had a hunch this would happen. I had a hunch. All right, here we go then. Has more gas than Hibernia. Who is John Crosby? Yes. Sheila, one more time, pick again. Same category for $214. 214. Large, dense body of rock situated off our east coast. Sheila Cox. Once again, it's got to be John Crosby. Yes, you're right. All right, Sheila Cox. I'm going to keep her running. $321 for the big blood of blustery MPs from Newfoundland. All right, and the answer is slippery maritime product that thrashes about when caught. <laughs> Sheila Copps. Who is John Crosby? Yes, you're right. <laughs> One more and you'll be able to sweep this category. Okay, clean sweep with 428. All right, good luck. The answer is a large scaly relative of the dinosaur. <laughs> Sheila Copps. Bill Kempling. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I'm oh. sorry. The answer I was looking for there was iguana. <laughs> yeah. Iguana, the scaly reptile. Okay, uh, this is a good time to meet our contestants, I think, folks, so let's find out who they are. Uh, Audrey McLaughlin, Audrey, I understand that uh, you once packed up a truck and just moved on to the Yukon, is that true? That's true, Ralph. You know, about 14 years ago, I packed up my pickup, I left Toronto, went to the Yukon, but I always had a big dream, and that was to come back here. It was a fabulous dream and be on Friday Night Jeopardy. And I gotta tell you, Ralph, this is a big night for me. I'm touched. <laughs> uh, Sheila, now I understand that there's a, a hockey arena named after your father in Hamilton. Is that not right? Yes, Ralph, there is a hockey arena named after my dad in Hamilton. It's a fabulous facility. Unfortunately, we have no team. Oh. <laughs> well, don't feel bad in Ottawa. They have a facility and they have no team either. So. <laughs> All right, let's get back to it. 
Uh, a couple of people here from Ottawa, huh? Booga booga. Okay, here we go. Uh, now, uh, back to our game. Audrey, I believe it's your turn. Yes, I'll try uh, trios for 107, Ralph. Trios for 107. The answer is ozone, cod, and Mulrooney. What is going, going, and gone? Yes. <laughs> It's uh, your turn one more time here. Yeah, I'm going to try this time. Uh, current movies for 107. Current movies. The Oscars this Monday, big time. Here we go. Kim Campbell standing in the polls has the Liberals reacting this way. She what is? Oh, yes, Audrey. I'm sorry. What is? Yes. The Crying Game. Yes. yes. All right. Well, it's time now for our uh, final Jeopardy. Can I just say that that Kim would have been here, but her crown got stuck. Yes. <laughs> That wasn't in the no. script. <laughs> I noticed that. <laughs> but this is time now for Final Jeopardy. And our category is famous words and phrases. Your answer is seven words generally heard at this time each week. You have seven seconds, so let's go. All right, pencils down, cards up, and your answer is? Ladies, Ladies and, and gentlemen, gentlemen, your weekend, weekend starts now. now. Sheila Cox, and from the Progressive Conservative Party, absolutely no one. And when we come back, ooh, get set.